You may know about the various departments on an aircraft carrier, but how is it loaded, and how exactly do carrier-based aircraft take off using a catapult? This is one of the harshest working environments in the world. In a space of just over 20,000 square meters, more than 5,000 people are needed to keep it operational. Let's step aboard the Nimitz-class USS George H.W. Bush, a $6.2 billion aircraft carrier, and explore how work is carried out on this incredible vessel. The Bush is the most expensive and technologically advanced carrier in the Nimitz class, as well as the most powerful active aircraft carrier in the world. It's like a 100,000-ton floating base, carrying over $1 billion worth of naval aircraft. With hundreds of different jobs on board, the most challenging and dangerous role arguably belongs to the S-18 pilots. These fighter jet pilots are the face of naval aviation and the carrier's most prominent stars, real-life Top Gun heroes. Day after day, they take off and land in a high-pressure, nerve-wracking job, confined for hours in a cramped cockpit, enduring forces up to 10 times their body weight. Every pilot must remain calm and intensely focused at all times. Out of the thousands on board, fewer than 200 are pilots, and behind each one on a mission are hundreds of support crew members providing essential services. They are the backbone of the Navy. The highest ranking officer here is Commander Phillips, who oversees thousands of crew members. He moves between the 18 levels below the flight deck daily, checking on both work progress and the crew's well-being in every aspect of life. The average age of the crew is just 24. 